Hey, welcome back to our wonderful Media Maker experience. And this is one of those times when we're going to be making a project. We're going to be using Adobe Audition. And what we're going to be doing today is building a radio ad. First thing we need when we do a radio ad is we need a script. So I'm going to go ahead and just head on over to the internet. And I've got a couple tabs here open. One of them is overnightradio.com. Now, I do not have permission to use this script, but since it's available on the internet and since this is for educational purposes only, I'm going to go ahead and borrow this script. I don't think it's going to be any problem for Overnight Radio Incorporated or for Dryden GM, which is the person for whom this script was made for, because it's for educational purposes only. What we're going to do is I'm just going to click on our work, and that's going to give me a few examples of the work of this particular company, and one of them is this one called Dryden GM. If I click on this, it gives me the script. I could listen to what they did with it. I'm not going to worry about it because we're just going to do our own really quick, and we are going to use this script. So what I need to do now is I'm going to come back in here to Audition, and I'm going to go ahead and just start a multi-track session. So I'll just click on the multi-track right up in here, and I'm going to call this Radio Ad. I want to keep the sample rate at 48,000, bit depth at 32 float, and the master at stereo. That way I've got 48,000 samples per second. I've got a bit depth of 32 floating point and a couple of channels as my master output. I'll go ahead and select OK. And I'm going to get this error because I need to put it in a different directory. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this down just on my desktop just for fun. And I'll select OK. Looked to me like I didn't actually have a directory in there. That'll happen sometimes. And if you get that error, then you'll know why. All right, so here is my multi-track session. I've got radioad.sesx. That's the sesx file, which is Audition's multi-track session file here. And what I have is I have a number of different tracks. And this first track, track one, I'm going to go ahead and just click on that and call it VO, because this is going to be where I'm going to record the voiceover for this particular radio ad. And in order to record directly into Audition, I need to tell Audition which track of these handful of tracks that are here, which track I want to record into. And I do that by clicking on this R button. You can see when I mouse over it, it says ARM for record. Click on that, and now you can see that my voice, my microphone, is actually going into this track right now. I'm going to go ahead and just make Audition just a little bit smaller. I'll drag the window this way. And I'll take my browser window and I'll drag it that way. That way I can see the script and I can keep Audition as the active piece of software here so that as I'm recording I can see the script. Now, when it comes to recording a voiceover for a radio ad like this, you really got to get into it, right? You got to think how would a radio person do this, a DJ or someone who works for the radio station. And for this one, this one, it's even marked by this company as hard sell. Hard sell is always in your face, right? Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Imagine like WrestleMania from like 1980, and maybe they do this still, I don't know. But it's really going to be hard sell. So I can imagine myself going something like, it no longer matters where you work, something like that. And so as I'm thinking about that, I'm concerned about the input level. You can see that as I started to, to talk, I started to peek over here. It no, longer ma it no longer matters where you work. You can see that that's going to be, that's going to be a little bit overdriven. So I'm actually just going to get into my sound preferences of my computer. I'm going to click on the input. And I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit, which is going to make it a little bit softer as I'm recording for you right now. But that's going to be okay. I'll bring it back up in just a second. It no matter. Yeah, there we go. We'll do something like that. All right, with that in mind now, what I'm going to do is I've got my track recorded. I've checked my levels. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit the record button. As soon as I hit that record button, you can see that Audition immediately starts recording exactly what I'm saying right here. So I'm ready to go. Here we go. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models, like a loaded 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD entertainment center. Save over $4,700. That's almost five thousand off employee pricing. Plus, get zero. Plus, get zero percent financing on almost everything. Come get GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. Try to GM where customers send their friends. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button now. Just the record button again. It's going to turn it off, and I'll hit the space bar. That's going to stop that playhead. 
You can see a couple things as I recorded that. First of all, I just kind of went overboard. Uh, as you're recording voiceover spots, voiceover for spots like this, radio ads, you really just want to go nuts. If you think that you are going way overboard, maybe take it just a little bit step further and you'll probably be about right. Also, you notice I kind of changed it up from sentence to sentence. You also notice I tried to read fast. This is supposed to fit in 30 seconds. So I definitely want to read fast enough that it will fit in 30 seconds. And lastly, you can see that when I messed up, uh, over here where it says with employee pricing plus get 0%, I, miss, I misspoke there. I flubbed it a little bit. All I did was just start over in that sentence. You want to not start in the middle of a sentence. That's going to be a problem for you. But if you start at the beginning of that sentence, we can always just edit this out in Audition, which is exactly what we're going to do now. I'll go ahead and make that window a little larger. I'm going to disarm the record on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and scroll back to the beginning, and I'll start to play it button. You can see that Audition immediately starts recording. Before I forget, though, I'm actually going to bring the sound back up on my microphone. Maybe that'll make it a little easier for you to hear. All right, here we go. Recording exactly what I'm saying right here. So I'm ready to go. Here we go. So you can see that's exactly started recording as soon as I started saying. So what I want to do now is I'm going to blade this up. I'm going to cut this up and make it so that all I have is just the good stuff. I want to cut all this stuff out at the beginning. It's all garbage. And what I'll do to do that is I'll just hit R on the keyboard. That's a shortcut for my razor tool up here. And I'm just, I can tell from the waveform right here that this is about where I'm going to start. So I'm just going to click on that, and then without even changing the tool, I still have the razor tool, but if I come up here into the what I call the banner type, the banner part of this clip, it becomes the move tool. I'll just click it and hit the delete key. Then I'm going to go ahead and just hit the banner part of this, and I'm going to bring it back up to that zero starting point so that I know that uh, I can fit within 30 seconds because I'll be able to see the time scale up here. Bring the playhead back up here, and I'll listen to it. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. All right, I'm going to go ahead uh, and I'm going to turn my volume up just a little bit inside my ear earphones. As I'm looking at this, uh, I want you to pay attention down here to the levels, the meters down here, and we want this to be sitting right around minus six. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now. So you can see it's peaking about minus six. That's fine. We might bring the level up just a little bit. We definitely do not want this to go over zero. If it goes over zero on this dB level meter, then we're going to get clipping, distortion, all that kind of stuff. That's going to be no good. So I'm going to go ahead and just listen to it right now, and I'm going to cut out the flub. So I'll listen to it, the whole thing. Now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models, like a loaded 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD entertainment center. Save over $4,700. That's almost $5,000 off employee pricing. Plus, get zero plus. All right, so you can see that's where I kind of messed up. I'm just going to hit the plus, C, plus key on my keyboard. It's actually the equal sign right next to the delete key. And I'll listen to that again. Sing. Plus, get so I can tell just in looking at the waveform, I say the word plus here, and then I can also tell that I restarted and I said the word plus here. You can see they look a lot alike, so I know that I need to cut before I mess this up, and I need to cut at exactly the same point in time, right before the waveform begins here, right before the waveform begins here. I'll click on that, delete it, and then I'll just click and I'll just shift this whole thing over, and I'm going to overlap it just a little bit. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more. You can see that this overlap has what we call a crossfade in audio uh, or yeah, dissolve in video, something like that. But you can see that as the first clip goes down, the second clip comes up, and we get a nice transition. Let's go ahead and listen to it. I'll spot the playhead back here. Thousand off employee pricing. Plus, get 0% financing on almost everything. Come get GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. Try to GM, where customers send their friends. All right, now as we look at the waveform down here, I've got the end of the audio right here, but if I'm not careful, you, you can see there's just this tiny bit right in here. Notice as I play this, this is the S in friends. Customers send their friends. So I definitely wanna cut after that, otherwise I'm not going to have that S sound and it's going to be where customers send their friend. And that's not gonna be nice, it's nice to have more than one friend. So I'll just go ahead and blade that after the S sound, I'll hit that and delete it. And I'm going to go ahead and save. I just hit Command S on my Mac, Control S on the PC. Now that I've cut out all the flubs, I've, I've gathered it all together, I can see that I'm at 34 seconds. This is a 30 second spot, and so I need to collapse as much time as I possibly can. So for the second time around, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bring us back to the very beginning. 
it no longer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all pauses, every breath, every every part in between the sentences, and I'm going to see if I can bring this down to 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, hitting the equal sign a few times. I may call that the plus sign. That's the way it happens sometimes. Matters where you work. As we look at this now, we've got were and then k. That's the k sound right there. So I want to go right after the k sound. I'm going to click it, blade it right before the very beginning. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to go ahead, even though I know I've got an edit back there near the end, I'm going to go ahead and just roll this forward. Work. Everyone. You can see that we're getting... Work. Everyone. It's tight, but that's okay. That's the way radio is. It's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. There's my next one, so here's the end of the M sound. Also notice, uh, as I move this tool around, you can see it changes depending on its location in the clip. If I have, it's still a razor tool, the R key on the keyboard, but if I mouse over this yellow line, it becomes something different. If I mouse over this light purplish line, it becomes something different. And if I get up here in the banner part of the area, it becomes something different. So as you're, as you're cutting using the razor tool, you definitely want to be off these two lines. You definitely want to be off the top of the clip. That Make sure it's got that razor icon, and we'll just click it, and we can delete that clip just like that. Again, just two cuts, select the clip up in the banner area, and then just hit delete. Now we'll listen to that edit. GM, don't miss this. So again, that's, uh, that's pretty tight. I also want you to notice as this D sound hits right there on the don't. GM, don't miss this. You can hear, don't miss just a little bit of distortion up in there. And unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about that. I recorded that a little bit too hot. I would definitely want to re-record this if this was for real because that is distortion. You can totally hear it. Don't miss this. It kind of sounds like, it just sounds like your speaker is kind of doing something funky. Uh, that's that distortion. You could tell that it's going to be distorted because as we expand this just a little bit, we've got the waveform hitting the very top and the very bottom. That's, that just goes to show it's the same thing as these levels. If we should look at the levels down here. GM, don't miss that are, we got into the red and we overdrove just a little bit. So that would be a problem if we were recording this for real, something you'd want to do over again. Yeah, don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models. And again, that's that S sound right there. So I'm gonna go right past that S sound. Click, click, delete, bring forward. I'm gonna totally just gonna get those touching. Like a loaded 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heat. Now I do have, uh, it's not in between sentences here, but I do have just a slight breath in there. Apparently I needed a lot of air when I recorded this. So I'll go ahead and take out that space. Six with rear heater, AC, remote start and DVD entertainment center. There's another one. Also I have really noisy breath. Notice that if I bring this back here. Center, say, you can hear me go. You can hear it's really, really loud breath. That's something that, uh, it's always been the way I am, I guess, who knows, but it's nice to cut that out. Center, save over $4,700. All right, there's my S sound in dollars. So I'll go ahead and just click that out. And bring it in. That's almost 5,000 off employee pricing. All right, there's my employee pricing. Now with this one, because I had already done that edit, you can see me at the end of this clip, and I do have this little bit of gap in here, and that's because I've been pushing these clips to the left as I've been cutting things out. I do have a little bit of dead air in here. Notice as I bring the razor tool all the way to the end of the clip, I get this red, this red symbol right in here. That's going to allow me to change the out point. I can just click that, drag the out point right up to the end of the waveform. Also notice that if I have my mouse cursor up on here, I can change the fade out on this clip. Not something we're going to do right now. We'll talk about that later. All right, with this in mind now, I do already have a, an edit point here. So I'll go ahead and just click that in and bring it forward in time. And we'll listen to the edit. Employee pricing plus get 0% financing on almost everything. All right, one last, well, maybe not the last, but another breath in here. Go through that same process. Everything. Come get GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. All right, I didn't even take a breath in between those two sentences. Come get employee pricing now. No working required. Listen to it again. Now, notice I'm always spotting the playhead back and listening to the edit. Every time you edit, whether it be audio or video, You'll always want to check the edit by listening to it, by moving the playhead back in time. Required. Try to and listen to it. GM, where customers send their friends. Right, so we've got the little bit of a space between Dryden and GM and the where customers send their friends. We'll click that, get rid of it. 
bring it backwards in time. Now, as we look at this, we can see where here's our 30 second mark right here. So I've got just about one and a half seconds, one second, something like that, that I still have to get rid of. I'm gonna go ahead and save because I've gone through that pass. And what we're going to do to do to get rid of that is I'm literally going to be even more judicious in how I cut things. So I'm gonna go ahead and even this very beginning right here. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm going to select everything by hitting Command A or Control A. I'm gonna bring that right up to, very, to the very beginning. It no longer matters where you work. Every and what I'm going to do now, I'm just gonna hit Command A again. It has everything selected. And what I'm going to do is hit the Command key up in here. Now I've got everything except that first clip selected. I'll go ahead and just bring it even forward even a little bit more. I'll come forward in time. I'll hold that Command key down or Control if you're on the PC. We'll do that one again. Basically now just tightening up every single one of these edits. As I hit that command key and select the clip before, it makes it so that everything beyond this edit point is still selected. And that's what I, exactly what I wanna do. Just overlapping even a little bit more. We're gonna to totally, totally tighten this thing up. Going through the exact same process. Hold that command key down, which just gets rid of that initial clip every single time I move down the edit points. This is probably gonna sound even more and more like what you'd be used to hearing on the radio because the radio has very, very little in the, de in the way of dead air, especially given that it's so expensive to advertise on radio. They do not wanna waste time with such trivial things like breathing. So you want, a, you want something going on at all times and breathing is not something that gets people to come to your company, right? All right, now with that in mind, I've got 30.5. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop because otherwise we could just keep on going over and over and over again. But uh, the other thing I might could do is I'll just go ahead and cut this and I'll try and hit that S sound a little bit faster just so it's friends. Customers send their friends. It now, <laughs> you notice that didn't work because I didn't have the N sound in there or the D sound. I'm gonna hit undo couple of times. Friends. Yeah, you can see I've got ends. We'll, we'll fix that a little bit later. I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. Now, you could go through and you could tighten this up even more. We could get rid of that last half second. Depending on the radio station, some radio stations are a little bit okay. They'll be like, okay, you're at 30.5 seconds. We're gonna let you slide. Most won't, but some will. And uh, we might even have to take a different tactic, which would be to speed all the clips up by just a tiny, tiny bit and you'll be talking just a little bit faster, but with half a second over 30 seconds, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. Or you could re-record. For us, we're gonna be close enough, we're at 30.5. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the whole thing now. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models, like a loaded 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD entertainment center. Save over $4,700. That's almost 5,000 off employee pricing. Plus, get 0% financing on almost every Everything. Come get GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. Try to GM, where customers send their friends. It no longer... All right, uh, so you can tell that sounds much more radio. Now, of course, my voice sounds just like my natural voice, which is not at all the way radio should sound. So what we're going to do, rather than applying effects to individual clips on this track, I'm going to go ahead and apply effects to the entire time, the entire track itself, not the individual clips. We could do that by looking at the effects rack down here. If you don't see the effects rack down here, just go window and select effects rack. Make sure it has a check mark next to it. And what we've got with the effects rack is we've got effects that can be applied to individual tracks. You can see that as I select each track, it changes the current track. You can see track colon, it says track two. That's because this is called track two. If I select this track up here, this is my VO track. You can see it says VO. So everything that I'm applying to the effects rack now will be applied to this particular track. We apply effects to the rack in order, and they get applied in order. So if I got here rack space number one, I can click on the right arrow, which gives me all of the different effects that are available to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a slight bit of reverb. Reverb is that little bit of echo. I'll select, I'll just mouse over reverb, and I'll select studio reverb. And what I'm going to do in this case is just use a lot of presets. I'm a huge fan of these presets. I think they're fantastic. And as we look at this, we've got vocal reverb small. Let's try that one. 
I'll just hit the space bar. It no longer matters where you were. Everyone's getting... And you can definitely hear that reverb. It's that little bit of echo. It kind of makes it sound like you're in an open room or in a, in a in a bathroom, frankly. It no longer matters where you were. Everyone's getting GM employee price. And I'm, I'm actually going to leave that alone for now. As soon as we mix this with some music, we'll see what it sounds like. We could definitely change this. We've got our output level. The dry output level is the the original without the effect added, and then the wet level is with the effect added. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to adjust the wet level. You can see that as I bring it down to zero, it sounds like the original. As I bring it to 100, it's loud and reverby. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models, like a loaded 05. So you can see as I went down to the bottom, it was just the original voice. As I went to 100, it was quite quite a bit there. Uh, I'm going to bring it back to about 25%, and I'll just go ahead and select the X key on the keyboard. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the, the bass level or the low frequency aspects of my voice. I'm going to click on the next rack space on the effects rack, and I'm going to add a, an EQ to this. And I'm a big fan of, I mean, we could do a parametric EQ or we could do a 30 band EQ. I'm going to go ahead and do a parametric equalizer. And I'm just going to look at these low frequencies that are down in here. If I select the presets, you can see I do have a lot of instrument type presets. I'm going to go ahead and let's try this vocal enhancer. Let's just hear it. See what it sounds like. You can see a big difference in the waveform. All 2005 models, like a loaded. Now, if I want to hear this with kind of before and after, I'll let it roll and I'll just click on this little power button down here, which is going to turn the effect on and off. 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD Entertainment Center. Save over four. You can see it doesn't really affect my voice that much. And actually, I'm, I'm a really big fan of these low frequencies down in here, 100 hertz and so forth. I'm going to click on this one and I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit. Maybe this. This parameter right in here, we'll bring that, that low end up. $4,700. That's almost $5,000 off employee pricing. Plus, that's just me. Maybe I'll even bring it forward just a little bit. You can see that as I do this, it affects the, the items down in here, and it also uh, affects the waveform. This is the low frequency stuff down in here from 0 hertz all the way up to about 20,000 hertz up on here, which is the high frequency stuff. Let's get zero. This basically is the entire range of human hearing up in here. 0% financing on almost Now notice also, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. The order matters on these. If I take this parametric equalizer and I, I click it and drag it above the studio reverb, it's going to be applied in a Everything. different order. Come get GM employee pricing. You can tell that as I do that now, we can hear the, the low frequency being added before the studio reverb. Before it's gone, no working required. Try to GM, where customers send their friends. It no and I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone, just like that. It just kind of enhances my voice just a little bit, and this is a beginning level assignment, this idea of doing a radio ad, so I'm not going to go completely crazy with this. I went ahead and saved it, Command S or Control S, and what we want to do now is we want to add a piece of music down here on track two. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the name for track two, and I'm going to call this music. What we're going to do is just a classic radio ad or a radio spot or radio commercial, which I just call a music bed and a voice. Just really, really easy stuff where you have just a music bed going for 30 seconds and VO going for 30 seconds itself. As far as getting music, I'm going to come back over here to my web browser, make the window a little bit larger, and I, I really enjoy this Incompetech, incompetech.filmmusic.io. This is music by Kevin McLeod, as well as I believe other people can, I, although I haven't seen many other people submitting music. This is an excellent service. It's royalty-free, which I want to make sure you all understand does not mean free. Uh, Kevin McLeod does allow you to use this for commercial work as long as you do attribution, but I want to make sure you understand that this is not free music. Uh, if you want to use it for a large project, if you want to use a high-quality version of it, you definitely need to, to pay for it, but then you won't have to pay royalties every time you use it. I'm going to go ahead and go to the beginning part of that website here, uh, which should look a lot like what you would see, although this list may be different. I also want you to notice that if you register as a user, then there's a search capability that makes it a whole lot easier to search for things. And that's actually what I'm going to do here. So I invite you to register. Just use your email address, your, your dummy email address, your trash email address, whatever you want to call it, something that you can verify and uh, have the service on here. Then you click on search. And I want something that's upbeat. So as I look through these search options, I'm going to go ahead and apply some filters. 
going to go in here to genres, and I'm just feeling like this Dryden GM is, is going electronic, and the moods, definitely action. You can see there's a whole bunch here. Obviously, I've looked at this beforehand, and I've got something in mind. I'm going to apply these two filters, and what's going to happen is the website is going to filter out everything. I've got about 50 that fit that electronic and action version. We can click on the play buttons and listen to each one. Now, in some cases, you want to, you may want to just skip to the drop here. So let's go ahead and just skip ahead a bit. And as I listen to this, once it hits the drop, this is just an awesome, an awesome piece. I'm completely fine with this. It's totally Dryden GM-ish to me. So I'll click the download button here. And this is the key to this website is that you can use this as long as you do attribution. And he even gives us the attribution and the credits. You can just copy and paste this. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you'll see this in the YouTube video down in the description. You'll see this because I plan on using this as part of the video. Notice the conditions, though. If you, you have to attribute and uh, attribute it, I should say, and if you make any changes, you got to note that as well. I'm going to go ahead and select Download, and it rolls down into my Downloads folder. I'm going to go back into Audition, and in order to get that piece here into the project, I'll go ahead and just click on my Downloads, and there it is right there. It's an MP3 file, and I'll just add it right here to the project. All right, there it is right there, Laser Pack by Kevin McLeod MP3. MP3 at 44,100 on the sample rate is not a high quality piece. I want to make sure you know that. Uh, this person, Kevin McLeod, does offer higher quality. I believe it's WAV files, if I remember right. Uh, probably sampled at least 48,000 hertz, which are a lot better quality. And if you plan on doing this for major projects, you definitely want to go with that and pay him the few dollars that it takes. And it's nice to support him as well. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this and drag it and add it to track two. And I'm going to get this warning because, as you'll recall, the project is at 48 kilohertz, 48,000 hertz for its sample frequency, but this is at 44.1. And so what has to happen is it has to conform it. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Audition will conform it, which is going to take a little bit of time and generate a new clip that's a WAV file that's at 48 kilohertz right in here. I'm going to go ahead and mute the vocal track and we're going to pay attention just to the audio on the music track. All right, so right about there is where the drop hits. We get more trash can noises, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and start this piece right at the very beginning of that, so I'll just click on it. As I was listening, I was watching the playhead move across the waveform, and I could tell that that's exactly where that hit happened. Click on here, hit the delete key, I'm going to hit the dash symbol a few times to zoom out, and just take this piece, move it all the way to the very beginning. And eventually I want this to be 30 seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end where my 30 second mark is, and let's just listen to it. All right, now that makes it easy. You can see right as we hit 30 seconds, we have the drum hits right here that make it sound literally like it's at the end. I'm going to go ahead and just click on my razor tool right here at the 30 second mark, click on the very end of that, hit the delete key. Now I've got exactly a 30 second piece. Let's listen to the whole thing. Nah, let's not listen to the whole thing. Let's listen to the whole thing with the VO added. And I know as soon as I do this, I'm going to need to drop the level on this music just a bit, otherwise it's going to overpower the vocal. So I'll just take the gain here, not the, not the balance. I want to make sure you know this is the balance. You can tell from this symbol, that's the left and right. And the gain on here, the volume level, I'll go ahead and click on that. I'll bring it down, maybe something like minus six. Let's listen to that. It no longer matters. When Still too loud. Let's go ahead and bring it down just a little bit more, maybe minus 12. Where you were, everyone's getting GM employee pricing. And that sounds pretty good. Let's listen to the whole thing now. Let's save it. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models, like a loaded. As I listen to it, I can tell that music's just a little bit too loud. I'll go ahead and drop it even a little bit more. An 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD entertainment center. Save over $4,700. That's almost $5,000 off employee pricing. Plus, get 0% financing on almost everything. Come get... 
Still seems a little loud to me, so I'm gonna drop it even a little bit more. Let's go minus 22. GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. Now that's my little soapbox moment, is if you can't hear the voice, if you can't understand the words, then you've gotta remix this audio, because definitely the voice has gotta be perfect. All right, the last thing I wanna look at is just a, just, I wanna throw in just a little bit. That's almost 5,000. Just a little bit of a change here. Save over $4,700. This save over $4,700 seems to me to be kind of the, the magic point in this ad. So I want to do something different with it. I'm going to go ahead and just do it, make it easy on myself. I'm going to add this to a new track. This will be like my effects track. This will be for the, the portions of the VO that I want to have special things applied to it. You can tell as I play this, AC Remote Start and DVD Entertainment Center. Save over $4,700. That's almost five. You can tell Audition doesn't care where the audio is. It's just going to play it when the playhead reaches that area. So as far as Audition is concerned, as far as we're concerned, this is all exactly as it was, except now we've got it on this new track. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to call it Effects. And this one, I'm going to add a, I'm going to, it's a flanger. A flanger is one of my favorite kind of effects pieces. I'm going to click on this right arrow. It's under Modulation and Flanger. Flanger is just, to me, it's a fun effect. It adds a lot of depth to the voice. Listen to it. Center. Save over $4,700. You can see it It just changes. It sound, makes it sound even a little bit more electronic. Uh, that's just with the default as well. Let's look at vocal flange. Entertainment Center. Save over $4,700. You can see that gives us just a little bit, but maybe we, we, maybe we want to go a little crazy. We could even go with like robotic. Check this out. Center. Save over $4,700. That's a And you can see that really adds a lot to it. It changes it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and go with that robotic. But in this case, you'll notice that I've lost my reverb and my, my other effects that I had over here on track one. Uh, that's okay because the flanger is its own effect in its own right. But let's go ahead and do add that reverb back that studio reverb, and we probably want this to reverberate even a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead, let's try medium, let's just see, that might be a little too much. Save over $4,700. That's a Actually, that's not so bad. So these presets, really all they do is just change the settings here. If you want to make changes to it, specifically the dry and the wet settings as well, which will make it even a little bit more pronounced. If I add the wet a little bit more, we can even make it a little bit more. Let's go with that. Garden DVD Entertainment Center. Save over $4,700. That's a yeah, that flanger is just a little bit too much, I think. Let me, actually, let me just double click on it. It's going to open up my controls again. I'm going to bring down the wet just a little bit. Maybe we'll go like one third, two thirds on that. Center. Save over $4,700. That's a All right, that's good enough for now. You can see, you get the idea. If we listen to the whole thing now, we have, we give it one last check before we're going to export it. It no longer matters where you work. Everyone's getting GM employee pricing now at Dryden GM. Don't miss this awesome event with discounts like never before on all 2005 models. Like a loaded 05 Pontiac Montana SV6 with rear heater, AC, remote start, and DVD entertainment center. Save over $4,700. That's almost 5,000 off employee pricing. Plus, get 0% financing on almost everything. Come get GM employee pricing before it's gone. No working required. Dryden GM, where customers send their friends. It All right, there you go. So that, that gives you the idea. Certainly there's some things we would want to tweak. That little bit with the effects needs help. It's not exactly how it should be. Plus, we're still about half a second too long. We'd want to fix that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to export. Let's go up to the File menu, Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, Entire Session. It's quite a, quite a ways in, but the mix down just makes it what used to be a whole bunch of different audio levels or tracks it's going to mix down into just two stereo tracks. An entire session means we're going to do the whole track. All right, uh, it's called Radio Add Mix Down. Um, the default for me is a WAV file. That's uh, a little bit too much for what we would need to do. Uh, we could do AIFF, that's not a bad one, but for this, uh, because we're going to be working with something very simple, I'm just going to do a, an MP3, even though it's very low quality. So call it something like Radio Add Mix Down MP3. The MP3 will be added by itself. Give it a location in the Browse menu. Go ahead and select a place where you want it to be. I'll go ahead and leave it on the desktop. And we'll keep all these defaults, and we'll select OK. And there you have it. We have our finished file. I'm going to go ahead and check it for us. Let's go to the desktop. And here is our Radio Add Mixdown. I'll hit the space bar on the Mac to preview it.
It no longer matters where you were. Everyone's. And you see we have a finished file, an MP3 file. Easy enough. All right, hope you enjoyed how to make a radio ad using Adobe Audition and look forward to meeting you again in the future.